The Kern River is a special place to me because it was a big catalyst in my growth as a public land advocate. The fact that you get to experience different ecosystems in this really small area is really something that feels like being back home. So I feel warm here. I feel a sense of community. I think it's important to be a good steward of our waters because water is a really big part and component of life for humans, for animals, for plants. In protecting um, access to clean water and clean water itself, we're also protecting all the ripples that come with it. I want policymakers to know that I know we can do so much more. I know they have a lot more power than to just give us 30%. They can work a lot harder and I think our communities can push them to do a lot more. Dear Kern River, I made you home after only knowing you briefly. Our affair lasted only nine months, but I learned more than what I bargained for. I traded in my beachside waves for the sound of your effortless trickle over smooth rocks. The cold water and soft wind against my skin reminded me of a home I was missing. I very quickly found myself becoming protective and advocating for your preservation. You taught me resilience and strength. You welcomed visitors swimming, camping, and recreating on your banks slowly making your soil harder and more compacted, degradation becoming more than you can handle. You give us so much, and we show our appreciation for you with pollution, graffiti, and broken tree limbs. Willows attempted to stabilize ailing banks, but their roots were ripped out. Sensitive grasses caught debris and pollution from making their way downstream before being trampled over. How can I show you that I am different? You swallow the abuse with teary eyes, but a willing smile. You didn't have to be strong for us, you had to be strong despite us. We saw your tears and didn't console you. I can create waves, but we need a tsunami. I hope this letter disrupts the calm water. I hope it ripples through desks and causes inspiration. Con cariño, Ruby Gonzalez.